Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, is a design framework that instructors can use to reduce barriers students face in the classroom and increase access to opportunities to succeed. We can implement UDL in our classroom through three guidelines, engagement, representation, and action and expression. In this video, we will develop ways to integrate multiple means of action and expression, which give learners diverse ways to express how they understand course content and develop course skills as a result of course experiences. By providing a number of ways for students to demonstrate their knowledge, you can help them more fully attain course outcomes. While this principle can be implemented in no-tech, low-tech, or high-tech ways, UDL adopters often use free and low-cost technology tools due to their powerful learning possibilities. First, let's talk about some concrete strategies that can help students across classrooms without watering down learning outcomes. Now, of course, not every one of these strategies will work in every course or subject area. It's up to you to find the ones that you're comfortable with and that align with your goals for learners. Can you build opportunities for learners to communicate their knowledge and understanding in a variety of formats as appropriate and relevant for your course content? Of course, if you teach a writing intensive course, writing is going to be a key component. But consider the kinds of writing you're asking students to do. Vary the length, purpose, and intended audience to help students see how writing exists across your discipline and its relevance across their personal and professional lives. Also, if on-the-spot presentations aren't key to your course outcomes, let students pre-record any talks or demonstrations so that they can refine their work. Then, in your class session, they can focus on responding to questions in deep and meaningful ways. Also. Think about how you can share checklists or guides for note-taking with your students. This is a skill our learners often struggle in developing. Give them lecture outlines in advance of or after class so they can review content or build their note-taking abilities by giving them progressively less structured note guides. You can also give learners in your classroom examples of different ways to solve problems both with real life and academic examples. These kinds of instances can help them act on their own knowledge or see how your course is meaningful in their lives. You can actively do this by building time at the beginning or end of your course sessions where you focus on how the subject area knowledge can be used to think about real world problems. Or you can pose authentic situations to students and ask them to consider how they would respond. They might have to come up with their own ideas, or perhaps they can find examples to share with the whole class. And finally, consider different ways students could express their knowledge and ideas with you and with their peers. Consider class formats that allow students to meet with you individually, with a small group of students, or as a whole class. This can be facilitated through on-campus meetings or synchronous sessions online using WebEx and Moodle. These are some ways to consider multiple means of action and expression that may help all learners in your classroom. Some of these may sound familiar, as many of them are simply good pedagogical strategies. If you're looking to target specific learner groups in your discipline, it's helpful to first identify who they are, and what they need in terms of action and expression. For example, prompting students to stop and think about a key concept or show and explain their understandings can help students with anxiety, international students, or introverted learners in demonstrating their knowledge. Or employing online discussion tools in addition to or in lieu of face-to-face -face discussions can enable students with auditory impairments, non-traditional students, and underachieving students, among others, to more effectively share their thoughts and ideas. For more information on concrete strategies to integrate multiple means of action and expression in your teaching, visit oakland.edu/cetl 
or check out strategies shared by CAST or the National Center on UDL.